Hey, my young and restless fans, let's talk about today's episode. Chelsea pushes a heartbroken Billy to open up. Daniel and Lily bond as well. And Chloe badgers Sally to talk to Nick about her pregnancy. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless recap for January 12th. And without any further ado, let's talk about this episode. So let's start out over at Chelsea's place because Chelsea is surprised to find Billy sitting on the floor in the apartment hallway under the coffee poster. And he claims that he's okay, but she insists that he comes inside because he's not. And then once he's on her couch, he starts to tell her things about Lily and how it's over. Now, after handing him a glass of water, she urges him to talk. He don't want to. Now, she's really sorry, and he assures her that this is all on him. And then Chelsea says sometimes things aren't anybody's fault before suggesting they watch a movie and have a snack. And eh, he's not up to that. And Chelsea thinks that they should watch the dumbest movie of all time. He rubs his eyes and he goes ahead and gives in. Now they make popcorn, turn on the movie, laughing through it all. They kick off their boots and then Billy falls asleep. And then as he's dreaming, he says her name and then wakes up with a shout and she tells him he called out her name and a nightmare now chelsea assumed that he was dreaming of their night on the roof and after she gives him some more water she asks how he experiencing that worst night of her life now he downplayed it and doesn't want to burden her when she got a lot going on right now and Chelsea admits that it took her a long time to notice it, but it must have been hard on him too. And she feels a little burdened by not knowing how it affected him. Billy admits that he felt fear, he felt guilt, and he's the one who showed her the roof to begin with. And if he hadn't said the right things, he wouldn't have been able to save her just like he failed to save Delia. And in a way, this was a do-over, a second chance for him to do the right thing. And every night he dreams that he fails to save her and it leaves his heart wrapped in a fist. Now, Chelsea hates that he witnessed all of this that put him through this. And Billy says losing her would have caused a lot of pain and the world is a lot more fun with her in it. And he wouldn't change having her as the bright spot in his day for anything. And she tells him the world is better with him in it too. So I guess Lily was right. Billy checked out a long time ago and checked in with Chelsea. Now, speaking of Lily, she is shivering in the park when Daniel shows up and startles her. Now, as they look out at the city, he tells her that this is one of his favorite spots, one that always stimulates him with creativity. And he's glad that they haven't turned the place into condos yet with gentrification. Now, seeing that she's upset, he wonders if she would prefer to be left alone. And Lily says the company is nice, but she is all talked out. And Lily went on to say how this felt like the longest day of her life. Her whole world has been turned upside down. Her relationship with Billy is over and Devon wants to dissolve their business partnership. And she feels like everything in her life is falling apart at once. And then we see Daniel holds her. Now, eventually he wants to say something. Lily Hope is not generic platitude and Daniel assures her that they will remain friends and he knows what's happening with her sucks and she deserves better. Now, as for Lily, she's not sure what she deserved because she chose a partner with those men and fell. And she even tried to take accountability for all of this. Check it out. Yeah, I don't really know what I deserve. I mean, I'm dealing with the consequences of my own actions. Right? Like, I chose to be with Billy. I chose to partner with Devon. I failed my personal and professional lives. No. No, see, I'm not going to let you go there. Actually, Lily, you get what you qualify for in this world based on the choices and the decisions that you made. However, with Daniel, he tells her that none of this is her fault. Let her take some accountability so she can grow from this. Everybody in this situation, including Devon, has some accountability. 
But she did talk about how she chose to have faith in Billy and she was wrong and it was frustrating and she's a fixer and she cannot fix these things. Now, Daniel knows what it's like to feel powerless, but says that you can't control other people, just yourself. And I agree with that. Now, knowing that doesn't make her feel any better, but he promises that life will soon look less horrible and inevitably things are going to get better. And she asked if that's what happened to him when Heather left. And he admitted that he wallowed and made things worse when ultimately that's what drove them away. And then Lily touched his hand and she tells him how sorry she is. Now, Daniel went crazy and self-destructive, according to him. And now he's on a mission to make things better, both for him and his daughter. And he tells Lily that she's already a good person and that she didn't let anyone down. And how Billy and Devon fell her and everyone else. And I partially disagree with that, Daniel. But she appreciates his high opinion of her, but feels like a big loser and she can't make any guarantees about his whole project, especially how it's going to make it to the next stage of the company with everything that's going on. Now, Lily says that Daniel made her feel a little bit better and she's been through worse and came out stronger. He went on to tease her for being cliched and she thanks him for being a friend and she's sure he will be a success with anything he sets his mind to. And she'll do all in her power to make his dream come to fruition. He thanks her. And Lily's sure that he's doing it to prove to Heather and Lucy that he want to fix things. And Lily has faith in him. And then he says, then I guess we can't fail. Can we? So now down in the glam club, Nick meets with Noah and they chat about how well the place is doing. Now Noah asks Nick how serious he is about Sally. Now Nick repeats the question and then turn around and deflect and ask about Allie. And Noah tells him how excited he is to watch their relationship grow. Being with Allie is really nice. Now Nick is happy for him. However, that's not where he and Sally are, at least at this point. You don't know the half of it, Nick. And he takes a big swig of beer. He looks thoughtful. And Nick knows that he's not a fan of Sally, but they enjoy each other's company and are taking it slow. And his son reminds him that things can change at a blink of an eye. And yeah, he's right about that, Nick. And Nick is sure eh, it's going to remain uncomplicated. Whoa. Again, he just don't know. Now, up in Sally's suite, Sally and Chloe are looking at flow charts. Chloe think they should have it all covered, and she's curious about how Sally feels. However, Sally, of course, is delusional, claiming she feels great. And as a good friend, Chloe reminds her that the clock is ticking, and she needs to start making decisions about her pregnancy. Now, Sally insists that they focus on their presentation for tomorrow. However, Chloe points out that her pregnancy could change everything and hand her some prenatal vitamins. Now, when Chloe starts quizzing her about her menstrual cycle, Sally repeats, look, we need to focus on work. Chloe urges her to see her OBGYN. Sally already did and got a positive result. Now, she's sure that she is scared. Chloe offers her support every step of the way. Plus, she must have the father's support, right? Sally looks away and she claims that she and Nick eh, are not in a serious relationship. And the last thing she wants is for him to think she feel trapped by springing this on on him. Now, Chloe knows he loves being a father and would like to figure this out as a teen. Sally, however, needs more time. And Chloe tells her she don't have time. Sally wants to table this whole conversation and call it a night. She's going out to the club with Nick. And Chloe also wonders, okay, how are you going to explain to Nick that you're not drinking and accuses her of being in denial, which she is. And she kind of pushes her to face reality and face the facts. And then Nick shows up. 
He sees that they were working. He offers to leave. Sally wants time to unwind. He invites Chloe, but she needs to get back to her own kids. On the way out, Chloe leaves the prenatal vitamins on Sally's table. And when they get to society, Sally realizes that she hadn't eaten all day. Now he's happy. Her stomach feels better and suggests that she orders everything. However, when he suggested they order drinks, yeah, you can see her really trying to force a smile. Sally, please, just stop. You need to figure this situation out. Be the grown adult that you are, even though, you know, you kind of messed up a little bit by not taking the pills, you guys suggesting and using protection, and now you got a situation with a baby on the way that either belongs to Nick or Adam. Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Thursday, January 12th, 2023. Stay tuned for the bold and the beautiful recap also for today. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye!